Alright guys, I've been getting a lot of questions and seeing a lot of questions posted around so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and try to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, just go over some basic stuff about a lot of questions that I get. Uh, probably the most, uh, the biggest question I get is how to take restrictor plates off and uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. Uh, there's more than one way to get into your game folder, I'm sure most of you know that. I usually just go to run and browse and mine already comes up into the folder because I open it a lot and uh, but if yours yours probably won't come up into the papyrus folder so you'll need to go to local disk your C drive and then papyrus folder NASCAR race in 2003 and your tracks folder and either Daytona or Talladega whichever track you want and I'll just use Talladega here and you want to change the uh, files of type to all files and you want to look for your track INI and then go ahead and open that up and then once you have your INI file open the line you want to change is the chassis type line you want to change that one to either a 2 or a 5 the 2 is a standard speedway chassis and the 5 is a road course chassis and for some reason if you have it on the 5 the road course chassis you will have higher speeds so but for this uh, video I'll just use a 2 and after any changes you make to your INI file you have to save it for it to uh, be in the game and that's basically how you change your take your restrictor plates off and now we'll go on to something else alright now uh, another popular question I get is uh, how to take roof flaps off and uh, I'm going to start off by doing the same thing, going to run, browse your two, in our 2003 folder. And this time you want to open up your players folder. And you want to go to the folder with your name. And again, change programs to all files. And you should see your player INI file. You open that. And the line you want to change... Uh, unless you have the Aero 88 mod installed like I do if you do not the aerodynamics line will be the first line that comes up in the INI file but if you do have the Aero 88 file there will be some lines that correspond to that mod in front of this but uh, you want to change the line that says employee roof flaps now I've already got mine turned off so yours will probably say oh, have a one if you don't have them turned off It'll be like that. If you need, if you want to take them off, you want to change the one to zero, and save that. And that's how you take the roof flaps off. All right. Another uh, question I've had before is uh, how do I how do I uh, spin myself out? And uh, I'll go ahead and show you this in the game. Uh, if you're wondering why my background menus look a little different, um, it's a part of the uh, SuperSpeedway.net's uh, Nextel update. And uh, I'll show you uh, more on that here in a minute. But to uh, do this, I go to options, and you want to make sure you have stability control off. And sometimes traction control, uh, you may have to take that off. But uh, I usually just leave the traction control on and take off the stability. And um, you want to make sure you have it on. Of course, uh, you want to uncheck automatic shifting because you're going to have to use a manual and you want to go to gearbox under gearbox you want to make sure you have it on direct selection and you want to set up um, each gear you need to correspond each gear to a different button on your your wheel or your gamepad whatever you use and uh, just make sure you have separate buttons for each gear and once you have that set up once you're in the game you can either throw uh, the car into first gear or reverse either one it will uh, spin the car sideways pretty pretty quickly and easily so uh, that's basically how I do that okay now I'm going to show you uh, some stuff that involves going online and downloading files and different stuff uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff that you have to download um, probably more recently here I've been asked being uh, getting questions about the reflections on my car and the just the overall different appearance of my graphics and uh, that all has to do with the Superspeedway.net uh, 
Nextel update and I'll go ahead and show you that. So you want to go ahead and go to superspeedway.net and you uh, do have to register for their uh, forum to be able to download different files and my internet is being retarded as usual alright there we go um, yeah like I said you have to register for their form and once you have registered you'll be able to uh, access all their downloads and you want to go to their download section after my internet connection finishes being retarded alright here we go and you want to go to N NC updates and the 2005 NNC mega update and just download that and install that it, I think it's it should be like an executable file it should just be point and click no uh, you don't have to extract any files that I remember so once you have that set up you should have all the updated graphics and re reflections on the cars and the up updated Nextel logos and um, background menu backgrounds and and all that good stuff so uh, that's how you uh, install the Nextel update and, and okay the last thing I'll show you is uh, I get a question uh, I get questions a lot about how how I have my uh, AI cars race three wide and uh, uh, all that is is a INI file that I download from uh, bhmotorsports.com and once you have their page loaded up you want to go in their top left corner to the games and you want to scroll down and find NASCAR Racing 2003 and then you want to go to downloads tracks and it should be on the third page there's actually three different INI files to have uh, here they are there's a three wide for Talladega three wide for both Daytona and Daytona Night and uh, just download whichever one you want and I'll use the Talladega file here and once you have that downloaded go to click on the track I, I use WinRAR as my uh, ex extract extracting program uh, WinZip is basically the same type thing but I just like WinRAR better uh, and I'll you uh, extract it to the C Papyrus in R2003 tracks and then you click on the Talladega, highlight the Talladega folder and okay extract that and it'll probably pop up asking you if you want to replace the the INI file that's already in there which I'm not going to because I already have this downloaded but in your case you will hit yes and it should be in there ready to be played and that is how I have uh, well that is somewhat of a way that I have my cars racing three wide of course there's some uh, some adjustments I've made just by trial and out trial and error that uh are somewhat of my little secret <laughs> and uh but that'll give you uh more three wide racing than the regular INI file would give you and that's basically all there is to it and uh thanks for watching my video and uh have fun